So let's see how easy it actually is. I, I imagine this is supposed to be really difficult. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. In a previous video, I showed you this. It was the Hori Fighting Commander Okta. It's kind of like an update to this. This is the original Hori Fighting Commander. This has a number of new features. One of the most interesting ones is the fact that now it does have an analog stick and a number of assignable custom profiles. And of course, all you wanted to know was, can you cheat? And of course the answer is yes, you can cheat, so let's go and try it now. The thing is, this is a game called Tekken 7, I never play this game, I know really jack all about this game. But, interestingly enough, now that I have this, the Hori Fighting Pad Octa, as you can see in the options, I am able to set extra buttons. So instead of having these be like the left button, or the left trigger, or the right stick button, or the right stick button, I can actually change these to be directions. So here in the Hori software you can set different custom profiles. I'm gonna go over to number three, which is what I've set up for Tekken. And let me just show you what I've done. I've actually changed it as you can see, so that instead of what normally would be on the shoulder buttons, you can actually see I've set them to right, left, up and down. This might not be the ultimate way to set it up, but it is the way that I've tried it so far. And so as a result, when I go into the game, as you can see, when I press the D-pad, nothing is actually happening. It has been set that the D-pad now does not actually control directions. This is set to like right stick button or, or whatever these shoulder buttons used to be. So if I want to control the directions, I have to use the analog stick, but the benefit is now I can actually use a number of directions using the shoulder buttons for shortcut cheats. So here's the number one shortcut that I think you all wanna see, it's called the Electric Wind God Fist. Again, I know jack all about Tekken, but what I do know is that this move is supposed to be difficult, but we're gonna try it using our shortcuts. So I've got my inputs showing here, let's try it. Electric Wind God Fist. Apparently this move is supposed to be difficult and people have trained really hard so that they can get this. And if you train really hard and you can get this move, then you, ex you get like a lot of extra damage or you can do all sorts of combos that you maybe couldn't do otherwise. I don't know the specifics, but I know that it's supposed to be difficult. And part of the balance of this game is that some moves are difficult, but if you learn how to do them, then you get access to this extra damage, right? Well, not anymore because I've got this, the Hori Fighting Pad Octa. And there are other controllers that are also coming out soon, which are trying to do something like this. But but essentially, if you use the analog stick for movement, now you have analog stick movement and you also have direction pad movement. So you have two ways to do the controls. So normally for this move, you would do something like a dragon punch input, right? And you would do something like that. But this is a normal, I think it's called a wind fist or a god fist. So in the game, you can see there's two different versions. There's the wind god fist. And if you just watch the demo, you get 20 damage. And I assume you don't get as much of a juggle, so you can't do as many great combos with it. But if you go over to this one, you see it says press simultaneously. So you've got to get the timing right, but it does extra damage. And I assume it also like gives you a better juggle for better combos. Again, I don't know what the intricacies of it is. All I know is that it's supposed to be difficult, but with this controller, it really isn't. So instead of doing the dragon punch input, which is forward, down, down, forward, punch, we're just going to do forward, down, and then we're going to press forward with my right index finger. That way, when I'm holding down down, pressing my right index finger will cause both inputs, down and forward, and we end up with down forward. Forward, down, down forward. Forward, down, down forward. And as a result, it means that I can press these two buttons at exactly the same time, which makes the timing for the EWGF, the Electric Wind God Fist, significantly easier. So let's see how easy it actually is, because I've never really done this before, and I certainly don't do it on the pad. I, I imagine this is supposed to be really difficult, but if you can do three of them in a row, and I've, I've basically never done an EWGF before, then I'm guessing that this kind of proves that <laughs> this is so cheating. Awesome, great. So that's that for the Electric Wind God Fist, but there's one more thing that people love to do in Tekken. Again, I don't ever do this because I really don't ever play this game, but there's something called the Korean Backdash, and if you use a special technique, then instead of backdashing like this and spending a lot of time in between backdashes, you can backdash really, really quickly and use it to move very carefully around the screen and you know have a lot of control over your character. So as far as I'm aware, this is a really important part of Tekken, but it's quite difficult to do with an arcade stick. But not anymore, because with the Fighting Commander Octo, all I have to do is hold down back, and then when I press down, right, with these two shortcut buttons that I set, I should be able to backdash 
to my heart's content and spend do this as, as quickly as I want. I'm no expert at Korean backdashing, but I'm under the impression that this is basically what it looks like. If I go back to my standard profile using just the D-pad, if I try to backdash really, really quickly, can you see there's a massive gap in between each backdash? But the theory with this Korean backdash is that if I do it like this, I can backdash like with basically like no gap in between. Anyway, so that is it for the testing of the Hori Fighting Commander in Tekken. Sorry I didn't have a chance to try it in the original video that I made for this, but <laughs> trying it out, I think it actually kind of deserved its own separate video because as you can see, you can set with the current version of the device manager which ships, which you can download for the Hori Fighting Commander, you can swap buttons. All right, just so you can see, if I go into here in button mapping, let's say that I want the A button to be where the D-pad is. You might think that you can go into button mapping and change the A button to be like a shoulder button and then change that shoulder button to be a direction. But watch what happens when I try that. So for example, let's say that this shoulder button, I change that to be the A button. And then let's say that I change that A button to be a direction. So I'm, ch I'm clicking on the A button and then I'm going to change it to be like the up button. So let's say I wanted the A button to be up here. If I press select on this, can you see what I thought I'd be able to do is set that A button over to be my up button on the D-pad. But what's actually happened is the A button has gone back to being in its normal position and up has now moved to the shoulder. So if I just go over to the testing zone, you can see the A button has returned to its original position and now up and L stick have been swapped. So if you're wondering what kind of button mappings you can do with this controller, it's not so much that you can just move the buttons around from place to place. It's more like you can do a swap between a button and another button. And then if you change that swapping, it kind of gets reset and the original button will go back to its normal factory default place. And then the new two buttons that you swapped will have a will do a sort of swap. So there you have it. If you were wondering whether you can cheat and do your little electric wind godfist or your, your sort of super easy Korean backdashes, then the answer is yes, you can do it with this controller. For now, let's see how that affects tournament legality when it comes to fighting game tournaments for this controller. Who knows, maybe they'll like say, okay, you need to show us all your custom profiles and prove that you're not using all these shortcuts. But then again, maybe they'll just be like, you know what, shortcuts are okay, just choose the controller that helps you win. This is probably the one. That's all for now. If you're curious, I am going to also make a Street Fighter V video so you can see what kind of shortcut stuff is possible with the Hori Fighting Commander Okta in that game. So look forward to that. Until that next video, don't forget to subscribe, comment, join the Discord in the link below. And until then, I'll see you around.